Good morning, brothers and sisters. This same day, it's been raining uh, all morning, pouring down. <clears throat> but anyway, thought I'd come back and uh, kind of add to that other video that I just made to something anybody out there might be interested. I left off saying, giving some some ways that you can uh, have assurance that you are one of his. And uh, I forgot to put in the thing about, well, I did say prayer, but see, you know, when Paul, a lot of people thought Paul wasn't for real to start with, you know, God's people in the first century. They didn't, you know, and then they said, behold, he prayeth. So I think that's what it said. He prayed. So, Paul prayed. That's an evidence that you're one of his, that you believe. You know, people don't pray if they don't believe. At least believe in God. <clears throat> and those that believe in God, that, that believe in his son Jesus, that's extra. That's special. Uh, especially to those that believe. So, that's a special uh blessing that uh, to uh but uh you know, if you hadn't seen my videos I, I believe that there are some god's people people that well whatever reason they haven't believed in christ either they hadn't heard of his name or or they were born before you know in the old testament but anyway that's a whole nother subject in itself i don't want to get everybody stirred up <laughs> But a uh, shout out to all my, the people that that in other countries that that uh, by happenstance maybe have uh, found uh, my little channel here: uh, Spain, Mexico, France, uh, UK, Canada, all the brothers and sisters up there. And it's a it's a blessing to have these little uh, channels that you can, you know. I, I'm not looking for numbers, you know, but I'm looking for individual, you know, just ones that God sends. But anyway, uh, and that other foreign country out there, uh, California, <laughs> I almost left them out. Well, you know, I got some people out there too, that I know. But anyway, uh, just wanted to uh, come back and touch base here with everybody. Uh, what I was talking about, Paul, he prayed. And there's other attributes. Meekness and lowliness, lowliness of heart. Uh, beloved, let us love one another. He that loveth is born of God. You know that. I know lots of people that have love. But he said, the Bible says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God. And knows God. He that loves not doesn't know God. For God is love. So, those are attrib these attributes of, of people that are uh, down here on top of this <laughs> world that believe in his son Jesus. And they might not wear their religion on their sleeve. But have you ever noticed how you like to be around some of these people that uh, aren't church people, you know, <laughs> not church people, you just like to be around them. You enjoy their company, and you, and you seem like you gravitate toward these people that aren't particularly religious or spiritual. Well, I believe they're all around us, and they're God's people. They'll go out of the way to, to give you the shirt off their back, so to say, in the South. And these people are, the, well, I believe, God's people. In fact, I prefer their company over some of these spiritual religious people that are always trying to look at you out of this corner that I like, well, I wonder what he's one of these devil's folk, you know. <laughs> I wish see that a lot in the South. But, uh, no, uh, I thought I'd get back with you and talk a little bit on you know, whatever I can think I've talked about. But, uh, I've noticed it, uh, that, uh, I start caring about these people that are on, online here just from the words they write and if i go back to that channel i see them you know 
especially if I see a face or something, you know, I, I start caring about them. It's funny how that can happen. You're really having real compassion for some uh, some of the people that uh, we go back and forth uh, talking to, and especially in the comment section. I believe the comment section is the heart of YouTube, but uh, uh, I like it a lot. Uh, anyway, I, uh, people that that are on online that have this something to do gospel, I call it the something to do gospel. In other words, in some kind of way, you make yourself a child of God by accepting, believing, uh, having faith. They give you some kind of role in it, in, in, in your salvation. And uh, they'll be online, and they'll, they, they believe in the, the, they elevate the will of man to uh, this uh, status uh, above the will of God. So that's what that is doing. And, uh, but anyway, let me look this up. And they start, but anyway, I don't know why I'm getting into this. I've, I've done all kind of different shows, but maybe somebody's watching this one, and I'll put this in it, because a lot of stuff you just have to go over and over with. They elevate the will of man uh, over the will of God, and say, uh, and they put something to do in the salvation of men. And uh, gosh, I don't need to get into a bunch of Bible verses, but but you, you can look into uh, just look into a John uh, John one thirteen, and it says, well, it, it says, this says which were born, not of blood, which were born not of blood. So your blood doesn't have anything. Your relatives doesn't have anything to do with it. Uh, well, let me just read the whole verse. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Okay, that's just one verse. I don't need to go any further, you know, because there's plenty of them. But you want, we were born again, not by the will of man, nor of the will of man. The people that are Bible literates, they can just go to John 1.13 and read that. Nor of the will of man. We didn't get born again on the counter. I will. Nor any of our relatives or any of our uh, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and uh, let's see, nor of the will of uh, the flesh. You didn't, <laughs> you wasn't self will. But anyway, but the real reason was God, it was God's idea that you got born again, no matter where you are upon the face of this earth. It was His idea. You were walking around hating on God or just didn't 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 care about God, then trespassing and sin. And all of a sudden the Holy Spirit uh came and uh, quickened you into eternal life and you passed from death unto life. And you may and may not, according to when you were born, or whatever that God's design for you was, what his will for you you was, uh do all this church stuff, so called uh religious stuff here that they talk about on Sunday morning. Now, uh, now God has people and they'll be in his heaven at the end of the world, at the end of this, uh, at the very last day, the very last time that the sun makes its circuit around the earth, around the flat earth. But anyway, people that uh, like to argue about this and say, oh yes, you got to do this one. I got a question for you. Uh, people like to say, oh yeah, can't you see right here where it says this or that? I, I got a question for them. Why not, if you sold everything that you got and given it to the poor? See? Have you done that? I can make, you know, we can, I can make, <laughs> if you give given every minute of your day, if you love the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind, whatever it is, have you done that? Don't think so. That's what he told the rich young ruler. Uh, who every, everybody seems to think he's in, uh, went to hell, but uh, 
No, he uh, he said he loved the rich young ruler. And the disciples uh, said, well, who can be saved, you know? Because he was pointing them toward the law. He was uh, he was saying that, you know, everything, God, with God, anything is possible. He can save anybody he wants to. So, uh, no, you hadn't sold everything you got and given to the poor. You hadn't done that. Oh, there's lots of you out there that hadn't done it, hadn't abided by the law. And I tell you what, if you look at yourself, you'll find out what a miserable sinner you are. According, and I do, I do. I'm a, I'm a miserable sinner. I fail him every day. But I still believe in his son Jesus because he, uh, he uh, worked that belief in me. He put that belief in me. Go back there to one of my videos that talks about uh, if you want to. <laughs> that talks about uh, beavers. Uh, excuse me, let me look it up. This is the work of beavers. This is the work of beavers. Doug White, Flat Earth. Go back and look at that if you want to. It talks about one of the Bible verses in, that they uh, uh, used to show it, say, well, See there, there it is, right there. You, this is uh, you've got to uh, you got to believe. That's the one thing you got to do. You got to believe, or else it's, it's curtains. Well, I say, ask the question. Well, how much believing the babies do? See these preachers, they uh, paint themselves in the corner and saying, well, you got to do all this, and they say, uh, but then I ask the question, how much believing the babies do? Say. I believe, that here's my view on, on the baby thing. Well, what happens to babies when they die? Well, of course, they say, well, it, uh, that happens another way. And of course, it, you know, the babies go to heaven. Well, it doesn't say that in the Bible. It doesn't say that people are saved in different ways. It says over in John 3, you'll read it, it says, And so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Everyone, look at John 3. Everyone is born again. In the same way, little children, people out in the jungle, on desert islands that never heard of them, they're born again in the same way. The Holy Spirit, like the wind, blows where it wills, and it goes and makes a new person out of that individual, all the way back to Adam, and all the way to this present day, and all the way into the future to the very last day. That's the way it works. The Holy Spirit brings to life these people and by the work of Jesus Christ who died for these people and shed his blood for these people. That's the way it works. And it's free. It's a gift of God. I don't know how any other words to put it. And you don't do a thing to deserve it. It's all by the, the rich mercy, not poor mercy, great love, not a little bitty love, and amazing grace of God. That's how people get saved. That's how he built his kingdom. And that's how uh, it all works. I don't know why I got off on this preaching thing today, but it just hit me. And he that began a good work in you is going to finish it. And he's the one keeping you. You're not keeping him. You're kept by the power of God. So many of these uh, uh there's lots of them out now nowadays. These uh, false teachers and false preachers. A lot of them are God's own people themselves. They've just been tricked. Same way they were tricked about the uh, God's cosmology. But anyway, I, I, I feel like I'm not just talking to my phone now. I feel like I'm talking to the world. Uh, maybe just one or two <laughs> sprinkled across the world, but I'm talking to them. But anyway, it's raining, and I'm going to get out of here now and quit uh, rambling around. But uh, I'd like to say this, peace and love uh, down here in Alabama. And I'll see you next time, God willing.